Hey, Brian. Welcome back to Game Over, guys. What do you call a tiny lick of a quarter or a nickel? A wee lick of sense! Ah, ah, dude, what is, why is there a wet paper towel in here? It's Remi a, no, this is going away. Wet rag? No! That was there for you! That was there to- I am so fucking sick of that. People just putting cold, wet things on my body. Against my will. Listen, you're the one that was getting faint. You don't know. You can't rationalize. You don't know what's good for you right now. You're starting to hallucinate. Which you're means I can't consent to wet rag. <laughs> no, it's because we're in charge of keeping you safe. This could go to a dark place, so we'll we'll move on. <laughs> Kill so, those monsters. Uh, he wants you to turn the lever. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Take that wall. Come here, technology. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how this shit well, works. I only I, know Molotov. You're I, now locked out. I think this is to the trap game. the uh, that big in. The one you killed? Maybe yeah. Open. With one empty hand? Without yes. Molotov. I'm gonna rewrite the narrative and say you punched him to death. Uber bucket head. Mm. Mike Tyson style. Mm. Ooh, who's that guy? I don't like those baby characters. That I feel like there needs Hans to be a trap Brickman. bomb in them. Where, Where are Hans Brickman? Where are all the babies? Aren't you Hans Brickman's best friend? Is, maybe Hans. they made these guys. All the babies got together and made babies. Oh, forms. he's got a bigger ear. He, he grabbed a statue like you said they should. <gasps> <laughs> Progress! There's hope for this plague city yet. <laughs> like, some of them, it seems as though some of them have become tailors. Yeah. So they're they're developing uh, trades and an artisan class. Hey, Brian, I feel faint again. <laughs> Would you like something? No, I just need to sit up. <laughs> don't put cold wet on me. You can't stop me because you skipped shoulder day. You don't I have think, the, the physical strength. I think it's because I'm shouting a little. Does shouting raise your temperature? Yeah. No. That sounds like a made up. Well, technically, system. yes. But it also causes blood to rush to my my born. My blood born. Where your forever mole is? In your thumb? I'm just gonna look at you. You're not looking at me, though. <laughs> now you are. Get out of here. That doesn't work. The We're... forever mole topic is done. <laughs> <laughs> it was done as soon as you mentioned it. You mentioned it. I... Not this time. Oh. Ooh. Very well. Where are you going? Brian. You can't just abandon the channel. He, he's gone now. If you get more wet rags, I'm going to be super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I leaned over and pushed the burp out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing, just a pit to Ooh. danger. Go in the danger pit. I don't want to go in the danger to pit. To go? I demand action. Your top hat demands action. Uh, I, no, oh god. No. Or is that just an ugly texture that looks like a, a pit? It looked like a cave. Am I crazy? I think you are. I think you are crazy. Oh. So crazy Brian had to leave. I don't know where he went. Brian! Come back here. I had an idea. Oh. It wasn't wet rag, was it? No, wet rag's gone. You <laughs> threw it. Okay. Callously. What was your idea? While in your heat delirium. Hey! What's that ball? Ooh. That's a uh, big guy and he concerns me. He's here. A fire! He wants to decorate oh, the Christmas some, tree. He's got some range with a chain. It's an ornament. Ugh. Ugh. What was your idea? Married life, am I right? Oh, ha ha, ball and chain. Boom! Oh, I went through him! Wow. Well, he disrespects the Molotov. Get him! You only right. punish him Ooh. more Molotov. Like a, come on, like a Russian come dragon. On. Now get him. Okay. Ryan, what was your idea? Oh, I turned on an air conditioner and a fan in the other room. Uh. To blow cool air from a, a sound distant area. So this, our Does episodes it, aren't interrupted by a trip to the hospital? Yeah, so if we have the air conditioners running in the other rooms, collectively more cold air is generated. Hang on, I gotta look Like if we open burn. Dan's door to his refrigerator, because I know he doesn't turn his AC off, then all of it will just pump out here. Like, you know, blowing up a, a gold rich enemy pinata. It'll just explode the coins of coldness onto us. I'm gonna lick them. The, the coins? Yeah. The coins of coldness? Yeah, he didn't get a wee lick of sense. You should probably be panting with your tongue right now because you do not sweat. Uh, hyperventilating would not be a good idea. Uh, I I'm think it would saying. be a hilarious idea because none of us would know what happened. Hey, you guys want to see me faint? Yeah. 
<laughs> Boy, do we. Good job, Wake Drew. Up, Watch out for that mimic. Covered in wet rags. Watch out for that mimic. It was I don't think it's a mimic this time. Okay. Tempering bloodstones. Closed. Can we tell the story about how Drew doesn't feel heat from... Uh, was that a Croatian story? No, we were in Boulder, Colorado, and we found out my heart rate doesn't elevate, even if we get a, a higher elevation. So I can just run at an even keel on a mountain. Like a dog. A dog heart does not beat <laughs> faster based on elevation. <laughs> the dog just drops dead eventually. No, I think they have internal regulation or something. Tell me, Dr. Veterinarian, how it works with dogs, because I don't yeah. know. Well, first, the dog climbs yeah. the mountain. All right, Is tell me the fun? science behind this. I'm very curious. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your, your dissertation, Dr. Veterinarian. So you just run up mountains, like vertical mountains, and then you just don't stop? Don't, don't go stop. To, go don't to space? Stop. No, I, I don't. So Drew doesn't seem to acknowledge heat. We determined this when we were in Croatia. And, uh, what was it? New uh, Mexico? We were in Sedona or something. Well, no, you got We're all struck. white suburbanites roam. You... Okay, Sedona, first of all, is not in Mexico. That's New Mexico. I said New Mexico, you... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you doubt yourself now? Fucking shit, no. You just weren't listening. <laughs> Maybe. Just like always. Maybe. I want a new brother. Dan! Yeah? Remember that when we were in New Mexico together? Oh, As brothers! Ew. Ew. <laughs> I am sweating. <laughs> I pushed you into the sweat, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Wait, what's the, the Sedona story, then? The Sedona story is we went to see a fucking cactus garden, because that's what white people do. Uh, it and was in Phoenix that I, we went was, to the cactus garden. Mom was, was excited. Phoenix. Okay, yeah, I was telling Mom and Dad, like, I think I'm dehydrating and I need to get out of the heat, and I think I might pass out. They're like, well, just give it a little bit, we'll, we'll head out soon, and Mom then they left me on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was determined to see the, the cactus garden in Phoenix, Arizona. Look, this one's prickly! Okay, they were prickly, in her defense. For starters... This one's a cactus. For starters... That's uh, what Mom sounds like when I'm mad. Cacti. <laughs> Not when she's mad. For starters, cacti are interesting! I had an enjoyable time, even though it was 110 degrees on a cloudless day. Why are you shouting? Because you're shitting on cacti. Oh. And that's just how you get Didn't you, get you have stabbed. a cactus? You had a cactus. There's a cactus right there. Is it the same one? Yes. There's two cacti, actually. I thought you had, a, a, like, a, a cactus named Steve back in the day. Why would I name it Steve? I don't know. I feel like Steve's a good name to have. Steve is a fine name, I suppose. I mean, it's... it's a Better than name. Eric. It's a challenge to have, because I've known a lot of negative Steves. <laughs> and the one that loved Coldplay in college. But he didn't, he didn't put me, he didn't put me off. Steve was in college. Steve was in college? Steve was in college. Not my college, though. If your name is Steve and you were in college, then you listened to Coldplay, I'm sure. Okay, listen. That was one Steve. The second Steve, uh, never interacted with us. He lived in the apartment. And he would just get home from work and go directly to his room, and he never spoke to anyone that he lived with. Even though we have a communal living room, kitchen, bathroom. Never, never spoke to us. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable living with that Steve. I, I'm willing to, yeah, I'm willing to learn to love again. Do you guys want to play my Pokemon hand simulator? What? That's how I pictured him. Oh, no, he was just deep I wasn't internet. offering. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, your, fuck your story, let's talk about hentai. Okay, back to cacti then. So yeah, We had like three stories we've interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you're rude and overheated and you need wet rag, but you, you turned your back on wet I rag. I just can't stand the sound of anyone talking but me. All right, the Sedona story, I think that one ended. I did not end up passing out because we eventually went to a gift shop with air conditioning. And I don't think mom acknowledges this story. What? What was the Croatia heat story? Here. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. I don't know either. Pardon. You may I remember me. stepping on a sea urchin. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, 
No, Phoenix was where you got super hot. Right. In the cactus garden, and we just left you on a bench to die. <laughs> yeah. Mexico is where you got heat stroke, and you were immediately sick for the yes. entire vacation. And the the skin on my nose melted off because I wanted to go back inside, and mom had you know being the powerful maternal figure to my teenage self said, no, you have to stay outside a bit longer. But mom, and then my nose melted off. Yeah, so you got all red and peely, and you got like horrible sun radiation poisoning. Yeah. Let's be friends. Kind of like, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I really lost some crap. Ugh. I saw it. There was like a mist. Yeah, so that's why I sneezed into if my were, corner. If it were hot enough, I'd be like, turn that my way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm firing out 100 degree boogers with that sneeze. Booger conditioning. You don't want it. But <laughs> booger conditioning. No, um. Mexico, you got violently ill for the entire vacation. Yeah. That was also the uh, story of Hola Amigos, which we'll come back to. Oh, that's a good one. And fecal. <laughs> I remember I kept, I kept mixing Fanta with the mini bar, and I was like 16, so I was like, this is paradise. I don't think you were 16, because I was 18. Then I might have been 14 and drinking that much. I sure do love next time on Game Over, guys, and drinking. Oh, Brian, and you were talking, I'm getting in a bit of lore. Oh, fuck. That's, there's a game going on. Burgenworth! <laughs> Well, we could keep it going. This guy, this is, at, at Axe Point, this guy seems willing to divulge information. We're, we're being friends. Dan, I agreed to cooperate with him. You want to put Dan, your friendship torch in his ear? Dan, you might need to strong arm our conversation back towards the game occasionally. <laughs> Dan, you are the anchor. Next time on Game Over, guys. Next time, for realsies. This we get time. told how Dan's hat got red. Billy Canole. <laughs>